Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in this video today we're going to be looking at an amazing freeware tool that makes those of you who use both the Phoenix A320 and GSX so much simpler, so much easier and a lot more realistic. Now, by now, I assume that many of you are familiar with GSX Ground Services Extreme. This is basically a visual mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which adds things like passengers and also will help you complete your pushback. Of course, GSX has been out for a while now, and I do highly recommend it just for the pushback alone. But seeing the visuals of the passengers and refueling, all that kind of stuff really adds to the immersion. But of course, it doesn't sync up perfectly with every aircraft, certainly not by default anyway, and that's where the program we're looking at today comes in really useful. Now, every aircraft has its own way of loading itself. Things like getting the payload on, getting the correct fuel in, all that kind of stuff, making sure that the stairs are called, even the GPU. Every aircraft, you have to go through whatever menu is set up and required to get that to work. And then at the same time, to make it realistic, you'd have to go into the GSX menu as well to make sure that you've got that set up in GSX. So everything is tied together quite neatly to create that ultimate immersion that we're after. Of course, however, though, we don't really want to be faffing around clicking on different menus, both in GSX and the EFB in the Phoenix aircraft. We want it all just to be done automatically. The Fly-by-Wire A32NX does indeed do this automatically with GSX. And let's be honest, GSX, now it's been out a while with some custom profiles you can download for free from flightsim.to, looks really nice and, well, prevents things like this. Looks like that pushback tug driver's getting fired in the morning. So, enter a free freeware mod called Phoenix to GSX, available to download from a link in the video description down below. Installation of this neat little program really couldn't be simpler. The first thing you'll need to download is the WASM module, which is simply done just by following the links here on the GitHub site. There we go, that's downloaded. Head back to the Phoenix to GSX site and then download Phoenix to GSX, again, as shown here on screen. Let them both download and then locate them in your downloads folder and move the Phoenix to GSX zip file into a folder of your choice. Don't extract it into the community folder or programs files. Let it run in a separate location. I have a Microsoft Flight Simulator add-ons folder that I use for things such as this, so I'm just going to extract that here. The first time you run the program, you might get a Windows Defender alert, but that's nothing new these days, so happy to click the run anyway button and then you may get this message basically telling you a windows.net file needs installing they've made this really simple though if it is missing and it needs to be installed simply click the link that pops up it automatically takes you to the page and automatically starts downloading it for you as well which for someone like me who hates having to negotiate stuff like this i found that really neat and useful big thanks to the developers on that one once again locate that in your downloads folder unzip it install it it's all done in the background and now we're ready to have a look at phoenix to gsx now the program needs running either before you start microsoft flight simulator or at the very latest when you're on the main screen of flight simulator don't launch it after you're sat inside the aircraft and you can confirm it's running in the systems tray down here at the bottom once you've launched it. In order for GSX and this program to work correctly, you need to make sure that your panel state for the Phoenix is not set to ready by default. So any of the panel states which do not have the engines running, because obviously when the engines are running, GSX doesn't work. When you load in then now, you'll see that the stairs have automatically been connected to your aircraft. Or of course, if you're not on a remote stand and you've got a jetway, the jetway will get connected as well. The program is set up by default to call both the fuel truck and the catering trucks the moment you load your flight plan into the EFB. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using the EFB here in the aircraft or whether you're using an external EFB on a tablet or a web browser. You can obviously change the settings using the dialog box that you can see here on the screen and tailor it as you wish. I'm quite happy though, however, just to leave everything set up 
by default because I think it works really nice. However, there is one small little caveat which I will point out because it is quite important. This will have the fuel truck load the planned block fuel from your operational flight plan. Although in most cases, of course, we tend to take a little bit more. So as soon as you have loaded in your flight plan in the EFB, go to the weights and balance screen to make sure you set the actual fuel that you want. You don't need to hit the load aircraft button. In fact, this is grayed out. The Phoenix to GSX app will then in the background ensure that the GSX fuel truck fills your aircraft up with what you now require. The catering is all taken care of. The passenger boarding is also all taken care of automatically once refueling has completed. And as the passengers are getting loaded, you can even see that the aircraft is filling up in turn on the Phoenix EFB with perhaps the most organized boarding process ever as the aircraft is filled from front to back perfectly. Once boarding has been completed, then it's pretty much as you were before. You still need to use the GSX menu then to start the pushback procedure, which makes sense because of course, you don't want GSX starting to get ready to push you back before you're good and ready, particularly if you're flying on an online network such as the VATSIM network. The program then also takes care of your aircraft once you arrive at your destination with deboarding starting automatically as soon as you turn the beacon light off, which of course is the signal to the ground crew that it is safe to approach the aircraft. So guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this program. Leave a comment down below, particularly if you're brand new to this little add-on or whether you've been using it for some time and let other people know, including myself, what you think of it. I think it is great. And from now on, all my flights will be conducted using the Phoenix to GSX app running in the background. Huge shout out to the developer as well for creating this, of course. And remember, it is a freeware product. So even bigger kudos to the developer of this little program. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please don't forget to leave a like. You can now also support the channel using super thanks as well if you wish. And if you are new to us, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live streamed flights. Thank you so much for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.